What's up, buddy? Where's your boo boo, do do? Where's your boo? Where's your boo boo do? What are you doing? It's a new life for me. For me. Welcome to the rice fields, mother. Welcome to Cooking with Mike. Are you all ready to see the mastery, the genius, the absolute artwork of food from the best chef that has ever existed? Gordon Ramsay ain't got nothing on me. I should have two Michelin stars right now, I'm serious. What you're about to see is almost too brilliant. You may have to turn away from the TV or the computer screen or your cell phone screen. It's almost, I mean, it may, it may be too beautiful. I don't even know if it could be put into ones and zeros and broadcast up to YouTube so that you can see this, but I'm gonna try. Tonight, I worked my butt off unbelievably. I gathered the ingredients from the four corners of the earth, slaving away, chopping the meat myself, refrigerating it, everything, creating my own cheese, growing my own lettuce, all the creation of one of the best chefs you'll ever see. Are you ready? You may have to turn the brightness down on your television sets because you're about to see true beauty. I can hardly believe I constructed this myself. Here we go. Shazam! <laughs> Check this out. It's a sandwich. It's a ham sandwich with Swiss cheese and lettuce, I guess that's it. I'll put real mayonnaise on it. Uh, Heinz yellow mustard. And then I'll fold it up. No, I did not buy this at the market side at Walmart. Psh. No, I handcrafted this. <laughs> RIDICULOUS BEHAVIOR! Alright, in reality though, I'm at the Walmart in, uh, in Truth and Consequences, New Mexico. You know where the, they have that serial killer? And, uh, I'm way too tired to be cooking anything today. Uh, so I just went and bought a sandwich. What can I say? I've been going all day. I've been driving all day. And then, uh, got here and edited a video and stuff like that. And I, th they make you wear the uh, masks in this Walmart, whatever. Take a quick look, see at my plant though. It did. I might be able to recover it. It's got a little green in it. Gosh, simply amazing earlier that day all right i'm on 26 north absolutely beautiful scenery and a really really smooth road um i'm heading towards uh truth or consequences <clears throat> new mexico yeah that's the name of the town truth or consequences it's actually a town where a serial serial killer of women um lived quite a while back but uh that's crazy i won't get into the details but you guys can look it up if you want the details anyways uh open road here and uh i'm just thinking about all the places that i've been this this winter this year so just as a recap i was at paul's for a little bit last summer then I went over got, and uh, hung out with uh, Larry in South Dakota. Then, and this is at the beginning of the winter here, uh, fall-ish type. And uh, then went over and camped for quite a while in the Black Hills of South Dakota. So I went west. <laughs> from Minnesota 
and then east down to Florida. Um, stayed in Florida most of the winter. Went all over the place down in Florida, down to Key West, all that. Um, then I hauled butt west all the way from one end of the country to the other and went to Slap City. Hung out there for about a month and realized this is ridiculous and I left. Went and camped in Quartzsite for a little bit, then uh, camped. That, then after I left camp, uh, the camp at Quartzsite, that's when the uh, virus thing started happening. So I went down about 50 miles from the Mexico border and camped there for like a month and a half. And uh, then I went to my hangout with some fa uh, family down here. And now I'm heading north again. Got to get out of this hot weather. I got to see some family and stuff too. I mean... Once a year, I should be able to hang out with the fam, you know? I miss them all. So, and my buddy Paul up there, I miss him too, and his family. So yeah, that'll work out. And you know what? It's a really cheap time to uh, travel right now. The gas prices are awesome. But I am kind of worried about where I'm going to be staying, I'm more, I'm wondering if I'm going to get to these Walmarts and they're going to be like, oh, due to the blah, 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 you can't stay overnight anymore because I know the Walmarts are closing early now. So that's going to be interesting to see it. You guys can see too how open the country really is because I'm going all the way across <laughs> from the south to the north. A few moments later. Well, hello, friends. I'm driving through Hatch, New Mexico. And I saw this. It's pretty cool. They got aliens up over here. <laughs> Whole bunch of cool stuff. You know, I, I wish I had somebody with me. I'd take a picture sitting next to the alien here. <laughs> Giant piggy bank. That's pretty cool. I want a bucket of chicken this big right now. I'm starving. Well, how's it going, little guy? What are you looking at? What the heck? <laughs> I, I can't see what what the alien is looking at. What's up, buddy? <laughs> There's uh, plates screwed to the telephone pole over here. And a shoe. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> you see the darndest things going through America. Hey guys, living on the road full time in my RV can bring me on some pretty crazy adventures. 
I encourage you to follow along in my adventures on the road. So please subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and thanks for watching.